my job is mainly to be in charge of and oversee, and I'm 100% responsible for it, but I love that. I love working with people. So I meet with clients and I figure out what their vision is. And we talk about how we can make, we figure out what the goals are for the film, and then we figure out the pathways to make them. Having a female DJ, you know, at your event or at your party, it's different and people love it and it's cool. And I think I also have to really watch like how I portray myself. I think that there's some images of other female DJs or just, you know, that come off as, you know, oh, they're pretty or, you know, that, but they have no skills. I mean, there's a big stereotype with that. I've struggled and I've tried to find a good balance of, you know, looking great and sounding great and, and having great skills as well. First, like, try to, I always say I try to, like, win over their confidence by playing good stuff that gets them, like, okay, she's a good DJ, like, I can relax a little bit. And then once you have their confidence, I feel like you can just take people, like, wherever. You can do tons of throwbacks. You can introduce new music. You can hype up the crowd. I just love the, like, in-the-moment element to it. When a video comes to completion, it's really rewarding to see something that's comes from absolutely nothing, just an idea, just like a want from a client, into, you know, standing at an event, seeing it live, seeing people's reactions. And a lot of the videos that I've done lately are for non-for-profits, so they're to raise money to make some sort of impact on society.